This is really a great day. Um, I think back to the many great accomplishments that occurred in Indianapolis over the last few years, and perhaps none greater or more meaningful to cities, towns, and counties across our region and across our state than uh, the historic uh, uh, effort on transportation. Uh, and specifically community crossings. I know how important community crossings has been to the city of Evansville uh, with the $757,000 that we'll re be receiving today. We'll receive a total of $1.7 million in that time. Um, that's really a great help. I can't imagine how helpful it is, or I should say I can only imagine how helpful all the other grants are to cities and towns and counties across the state. Uh, for the city of Evansville, we'll be, this money will allow us to pave on a faster rate uh, Broadway from T Couple out to the uh, city county line, uh, Bellamy from Southeast 8th to Alvard, and Alvard Boulevard uh, from Washington Avenue to the Lloyd Expressway, about 12 and a half lane miles. Uh, all those streets would have been done eventually. This allows us to do it even faster. And we are really grateful for the legislature for their wisdom in passing it and for the administration for championing uh, this, uh, this great uh, effort and asset for communities all across the state. So with that, it's my pleasure to welcome uh, a good friend to Southwest Indiana, uh, Governor Eric Holcomb. And when you think about this very program, it's really layered. It's, it's, it's um, the 2017, the bill that came out, the roads and bridges plan that was championed, as you rightly pointed out, by the legislature. That, that separated us from most states in the country. In fact, I don't know of another state that has a 20 year, 60 billion paid for, not debt financed road and bridge uh, plan, in addition to a lot of the transformational projects um, that are occurring, like uh, completing I 69, in addition to the increased, thanks to AIM and, uh, and Mayor, your leadership of AIM, increasing the local funding. Uh, streams that are coming into not just Vandenberg County or Gibson County, but 92, uh, all 92 counties. Um, but then to have a program like Community Crossings on top of all that, that is a matching uh, fund program, really does, as the mayor said, help communities take projects that were on the shelf, gather and dust, and, and get them underway.